بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله على النبي الكريم محمد وآله وأصحابه إجمعين Last time we started with the topic or chapter inscribers of the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So these inscribers and writers of the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they have different type of duties. Number one, those who used to write the Holy Quran, number two, who used to write whatever the Prophet ordered them to write. Number three, those who were qualified to write letters to rulers and head of the state. Number four, those who were writing agreements, accords and charity. Number five, those inscribers who were doing correspondence with Arabs. Number six, those inscribers are writers who are writing rules and laws. Number seven, the writers of battle, combatants, and booties documents. Permanent writers, number A, permanent writers, with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who were writing every immediate and urgent affair. Number nine. Those writers who used to write the contracts and transactions of general public. And number ten, they were writers on call whenever they were needed. Yes, like doctors, doctors on call. So they were writers on call whenever they were needed. Next chapter is Sahaba and writing of Ahadith. The importance of writing and reading in Islam is mentioned there in the first ever Wahi. Where Allah has ordered twice, Ikra, read. And He mentioned His Ikram, His generosity, or giving respect. Through Kalam, Pen. And as you know, column and pen is for writing. So this first ever Wahi embodies that reading and writing both are important Islamically. So 
تو صحابہ رضوان اللہ علی مجمعین ایون دو But at the same time they were writing as well. So you will mention here only a few of their books in a hadith. Number one. Hatsadika. This was a Sahih Pare book written by Abdullah ibn Amr ibn Al-Ha. And there were 1,000 hadiths written there in that book. Number two. The book of Saad ibn Ubadah. Read, read and read. Hello. Number three. The book of Saad ibn Ubadah. Read, read and read. All these books were in a hadith. The book of Abu Rafi. The Sahifa. Of Ali. Radiyallahu anhu wa anhu. The Sahifa of Jabir. Ibn Abdullah. Hazab. What are they doing? That means that the writing of a hadith was taking place in the time of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam by various sahaba. But all these were individual efforts. Not official. Like a sahaba were writing the Holy Quran for themselves individually. While as we mentioned that the first ever compilation of Holy Book officially took place under the supervision of Abu Bakr and then Uthman. Radiyallahu anhumah. It means that the first three caliphs, the first three caliphs, they were giving a due importance to the compilation of holy book. Abu Bakr, Omar and Uthman. While in the time of Ali, Rabi Allah, There were battles disputes and its settlement and 
etc. That's why you could not find any time to compile a hadith. So the first ever compilation officially of a hadith, it took place in the time of Umar ibn Abdul Aziz. Then Sahaba in their own time, they were writing the Hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in different ways. Like A is number one. Abu Bakr wrote a letter to Anas, the governor of Bahrain, regarding Vakas. and mandatory sadaqah. And he referred it to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But what is the surprise? He referred it to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It is narrated by Imam Bukhari. Imam Ahmad Nere, number two, Imam Ahmad Nere, from Abu Uthman al Nahdi, Abu Uthman al Nahdi. That we were there with Utba ibn Farqan. With whom? Utba ibn Farqan. The then governor of Bahrain. Omar wrote to him several things. One of these things was that the Prophet said Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam who wore we are war. Warm silk in this world. He will not be written the year after. And he referred it to Rasulullah, to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So again, it was a hadith written by Yadr Kiyamba. Number three. In the case of the sword of Omar, Rabbi Allah Han, there was a written document about the zakat of cattle being referred to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It is, the hadith is there in a book, al kifaya
عبداللہ ابن پنیر He said, I saw the students, I saw the students of a well-known sahabi, Bara ibn Aziz. Bara ibn Aziz. They, they were writing a hadith. from Bara ibn Azib using the pens of Cain what? Cain the Kalam Anas ibn Malik used to pay the hadith to declare himla the hadith to his students but when the students increased in number so he brought his books and put it in front of them that write down a hadith from these books I have written it from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam This is narrated by Khatib. Who quoted this? Khatib. In his book, Tariq al Baghdad. In his book, Tariq al Baghdad. And before this, the Hadith of Abdullah ibn Khunayf, that is narrated by Ibn Abdul Bar. By whom? Ibn Abdul Bar in his book named is Jamia Bayan al Hayran. Number six. Man says, man, that Abdurrahman, the son of Ibn Masood, Abdurrahman, the son of Ibn Masood, he brought forth a book of Hadith. and put it in front of people and he said I swear by Allah that this is the handwriting of my father Ibn Masood
ಭಾವಿಯ ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಲ್ಲಾಹು ಅನ್ ಈ ಆಸ್ ಮುಗೀರ ಐಬ್ನೆ ಶೋಭ ಬೋಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಎಮಂಗ್ ಪಿಪಾಯ್ ಈ ಆಸ್ ಮುಗೀರ ಐಬ್ನೆ ಶೋಭ ಟು ರೈಟ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ರಸೂಲ್ ಉಲ್ಲಾ ಹಿ ಹರ್ಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಟು ರೈಟ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಹಿ ಹರ್ಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ರಸೂಲ್ ಉಲ್ಲಾ ಟು ರೈಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೊ ಮುಗೀರ ರೋಟ್ ರಜಿಯಂ ಲಾಹಾನ್ ಎಂಡಿ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟ್ ಸಲ್ಲುಲ್ಲಾ ಅಲೆ ಸಲ್ಲಂ ಹೇ ಪ್ರಹಿಟಿ ಅರಿ ಎ ಪುಟ್ ರೆಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಷನ್ ಟು ಸೇ ವಿದೌಟ್ ಎನ್ಕ್ವೈರಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಹರ್ಡ್ ಸಂಬಾಡಿ ಸೆಟ್ ಇಟ್ it is learnt from some sources par sallallahu alaihi wasallam prohibited such like thing and also he prohibited not to beg not to beg and not to ask lot of persons and also he prohibited to waste one's own property for no reason open bukhari Ali radiyallahu ta'ala had a very famous book where he put on record Ali this number 8 he had a very famous book where he put on record the rules regarding injury compensation blood money and emancipation of slaves and all these were for sure from rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam because ali was not a legislator number 9 and for this number 8 ahmad imam ahmad wrote it in his book sir Ibn Abbas used number 9 Ibn Abbas used to write the hadith from sahaba one lady her name is Salma the wife of Abu Rafi you mentioned her name before yes the wife of Abu Rafi Rabi Allah Ta'ala Han she says that Ibn Abbas used to come to my husband having some wooden boards in his hand Hello. Having some wooden board in his hand to write down a hadith on these boards from my husband. 
میرے دل میں امام مسلم نمبر ٹین سمور آئے اپنی زندو ہیز اے ویری بگ ریکارڈ آف احادی ریٹن ہیز اون سن سلیمان شبن سمورا اینڈ ہیز اسٹوڈنٹ حسن بصری حسن البصری دے بوت یو ٹو ریلیٹ احادیث فرام دیٹ ریکارڈ ریٹن بائی سمورا ابن سعد ابن سعد ابن سعد نمبر الیون امام شاہ کی ریلیٹ ان ہز فیمس بک کتاب الام یہ تو بک ریٹن بھائی امام شاہ کی کتاب الام اینڈر فیمس بک بھائی امام شاہ کی کتاب الرسالہ وین کتاب الام امام شاہ کی رحمت اللہ علیہ In a race, that the son of Saad ibn Ubadah, Saad ibn Ubadah, a major Saad, Qadhi Allah ta'ala han, the chief of Hansar, so his son, Kaysi ibn Saad, his name was Kaysi. Ibn Saad, he used to relate a hadith from the written documents of his father. Number 12, Imam Ahmad His book name is Musnad. What? And Ibn Hisham, his book of Tariq, Ibn Hisham, history by Ibn Hisham, they both narrated that he wrote one book in a hadith which came into the hands of Ibn Ayyad Ibn Ayyad and another book of him of whom? Maaz Ibn Jabal yes, we should write it Imam Ahmad and Ibn Hisham both narrated that Muhammad ibn Jabal, he wrote a book of a hadith which came into the position of Ibn Ayyad. And another one, they came into the hands of Musa ibn Talha.
ابن عبد البر ابن ابن من شو بيقول في كتاب الجامع وبيان العلم فابن عبد البر هي ليه بيت عمرو بن اميه هو عمرو بن اميه الدمري ريليت الى حديث فام ابو هريره ان ريليت حديث فام ابو هريره ابو هريره هاس هاس لهم هواي شو نيو ذا حديث يا سيد اوف كورس Abhorer said, if I have done it, so certainly I will have it in my record. So Amr said, he took me inside his room. Lot of books were written there by Abu Bakr, by Abu Hurera. And he found their hadith therein. Number 15. This is also in Al-Kifaya. Number 14 was in the book, in book Al-Kifaya. Number 15. حمام ابن منبه يا شو انت عم بقول يا هيروت هي صحيفه دينا في البوك فرام ابو هريره also his other students like سعيد المقبري سعيد المقبري And Ibn Sirin. Wrote a hadith from Abu Huraira. Number 16. شيخ عبد الرزاق شيخ عبد الرزاق has written a book in hadith very famous in few volumes بس قال مصنف بس قال وش مصنف عبد الرزاق number 16 number 17 The entire Sahifa of Jabir ibn Abdullah, the Sahabi of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The whole Sahifa of Jabir ibn Abdullah, in his book. He has several books of hadith. Number 
This is narrated there in a book on Isaba. What? On Isaba. It's written by Hassan ibn Hajar. A number 18. Rafi ibn Khadij. Who? The Sahabi of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He had a collection. Of a hadith. Number 19. Kaab ibn Hamad. Kaab. Ibn Amr, he had a compilation. Number 20, Ibn Amr had a few books. And number 20, Hassan Ibn Ali. He used to order his students to write down whatever hadith he is relating to them. Now, because 